Hey everyone, welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica. Thanks for joining me. Today's video is part of the Fun Time Fridays Challenge, hosted by Tiff at Broke Girl Aesthetic and Leah at Junker Necker. Please be sure to check out the very talented hosts and all of the amazingly creative artists and crafters participating. This is an awesome playlist. You'll find all the links below in the description box, as well as all supplies and pertinent information. This is a really cute and budget-friendly project, so let's get into it. I used seashells, some sea glass, and a starfish. A small bucket. I got mine at a friend's garage sale. A styrofoam disc to fit your bucket. Some spackle. Paint. I used both chalk and acrylic. All colors will be in the description box. Some cinnamon. Rust-Oleum Clean Metal Primer Spray. The word seashell in vinyl lettering. I cut mine with my silhouette. Since my bucket had a rusty finish, I sprayed it with Rust-Oleum Primer first. I wanted handles, so I drilled holes opposite each other. If you have a pail that has a handle, all the better. I'll be adding a wire to my bucket later. I base coated my pail first with Ceram Coat Whipped Cream Chalk Paint. I could have skipped this step, but I really like this shade of white. It has a vintage vibe. Once dry, I center my vinyl lettering and burnish it onto my pail. I'll be doing a negative stencil effect, so to stop the paint from bleeding, I'll paint over the letters with my whipped cream. This keeps the edges clean. My top coat will be my favorite, Deco Art Chalk Paint in Refreshing. It's a beautiful watery blue-green with a serious retro feel. I love it. This paint is really thick, so it really adds some texture, which is just perfect for an old, well-loved beach bucket. I'm using a variety of acrylic paint, also in watery blues and greens, to add some interest. I'll dry brush on each color, building up my layers. I don't clean my brush in between colors, Using a dirty brush adds to the aged effect. I make sure to add a little bit of each color. Darkest green is Americana's aloe, and I really focus my dry brushing on the raised parts of the pail, including the seam on the back of the pail, to give it a patina complexion. Now I'll add some Ceram Code Hippo Gray for an aged effect. Again, 
hitting those raised areas in particular. Also, around the holes for the handle. I'm using both DecoArt Venetian Gold Metallic and Light Cinnamon, as well as Real Cinnamon, to add my rusty patches. I randomly add some rusty spots with both colors, then I shake on some cinnamon onto the wet paint. The cinnamon adds a texture that truly mimics real rust. And I just brush off the excess with my fingers. I'm adding more rust to the handle holes. And to the seam, in the areas that would likely rust over the years, I tap it on and lightly brush off the excess. Now we'll add a bit more hippo gray over and along the rust spots. I'll peel off the vinyl lettering, which is always one of my favorite parts. I use the font Remachine for the wording. You can find this font at thefont.com. I very lightly sand over the lettering to give it a worn look. and I softly dry brush the letters with some more of the Hippo Gray. So for my handle, I cut a length of rusty wire and I push it over the pail like this to round it out. I push the ends through the drilled holes and I bend the wire ends over and into the inside of the pail to keep it upright. Now I push my styrofoam into the pail, level with the rim. I did have to trim it ever so slightly with a serrated knife to get it to fit. I mix my spackle with some Ceram Coat Trail Tan using a craft stick. I stirred it until the color was completely incorporated into the spackle to make my sand. 
I spread the spackle onto the styrofoam with my craft stick, covering the entire top. Happy with my sandy top, I arrange my seashells by pushing them into the styrofoam. I don't go too deep, just enough to make sure that they're secure. My starfish will take center stage. Love it. Now for some sea glass to add more color and texture and summery fun. I add some shells in the back too for some extra support. Oh my stars. Look at it. How cute. If you have one, you could add a wee shovel too. To seal my bucket, I sprayed it with a matte finish spray, but my podge would work too. I love this. I think it turned out so stinking cute. I displayed it with the seagrass behind it, but you could definitely add the grass to the pail too. This project is a personal fave because the beach is my favorite place. I really hope you enjoyed watching and are inspired to make your own vintage beach bucket. That's a tongue twister. Please be sure to check out the playlist for more fun projects. Thank you again to Tiff of Broke Girl Aesthetic and Leah of Junker Necker for hosting. I would love it if you would subscribe, like, and share. Tick the bell icon for notification of upcoming videos. I have lots of fun stuff coming up, so please check back. I've also linked my deep sea sinker video below. For anyone who loves nautical, coastal, beachy decor, check it out. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.